welcome to Independent Arts. Today we're going to be doing some crafting and I've got a nice simple craft project for you that you can do with the whole family. We're going to make this cute little hanging photo frame. The best bit is it doesn't involve any expensive materials uh, which nobody can get hold of at the moment anyway. All you need are some sticks, some string and a bit of paint. All you need are four sticks, any kind of string. I've used gardening twine, but you could use white cotton string, ribbon, raffia, whatever you've got at home. And some paint. I've used artist acrylic paint, but if you haven't got any at home, you could use leftover household emulsion. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is decorate our sticks. I'm using some ordinary household emulsion left over. I found it down in the shed. So don't worry if you haven't got artist acrylics. Um, actually, the white works rather well. And this is what we're going to do. So I'm just going to start by using a series of stripes and spots whatever pops into my head whatever I feel like doing you could google um, Aboriginal art and look at some of the spot paintings and swirls and patterns that they use which are absolutely fantastic um, another good source might be to Google um, something like Maasai Mara jewellery. The Maasai tribe in Africa wear the most fantastic decorative jewellery made from beadwork and some of their patterns are very inspiring. use every colour under the rainbow if you wanted to or it works quite well if you perhaps choose three four colours that complement each other and just limit your palette so that there's a little bit of symmetry all around. Okay I'll show you how we're going to put the frame together just like in Blue Peter. Here's one I prepared earlier. So I painted these four sticks previously because obviously you'll need to leave your sticks to dry quite well um, because you're going to be handling them and you'll just end up rubbing all the, the markings off, which would be a shame. So, first of all, take two sticks, put them together like this to form a right angle. Get yourself a bit of twine. And first of all, just going to tie a knot to secure it. like that. Might do another knot actually. Okay. 
and now I'm going to sort of lash them together as if we're making a raft like that way and then pass it under and go make sure you go over both intersections of the cross where they cross over there we go and then just tie it to your loose end from where you tied the knot do a double knot okay Lash together your four decorated sticks. We've made a frame. Um, don't worry, it doesn't have to be super sturdy. It's not weight bearing. It's just to hold a little, be a little framework for the photograph. So let's attach our photograph. So all you do, tie a piece of twine or string, whatever you're using at the top. And at the bottom. You want this piece to be a bit taut but it doesn't have to be tight but if it's baggy I think that the photograph will spin around too much. There we go. I'm just going to trim those ends off. Okay. Now I'm taking my photograph, turn it over so that it's face side down and just slip it under the string like that and sort of position it where you want it kind of central when I did mine my previous one I did have to take it off and reposition it a few times because if it's not very central it has a tendency to to spin when you hold it up okay so I'm just taking a piece of masking tape. Masking tape's better to use because you can reposition things more easily, but if you've only got sellotape, just use sellotape. Okay, I'm gonna press it down and just tape it on the back like that. Okay, let's turn it over. There you go. Now I just need one more piece of string to hang it up by. There you go. I'm going to show you how you can adapt this idea of painting sticks. If you're working with um, maybe younger children or dementia sufferers, they may not have the concentration levels or the dexterity to do this more fiddly part of the construction, but you can still have fun decorating the sticks and put them to good use. I'll show you. you're working with or even you doesn't manage to do the whole picture frame project even if you only get one stick painted don't worry you can always find a use for it I just cut out a piece of card from an Easter egg box and I've used it to label this stick um, I'm going to use it as a seed marker for my seedlings this year we're growing French beans the good thing about this activity is you can return to it again and again and build up your collection, adding ribbons, raffia, whatever you have. I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep watching Independent Arts for more crafting ideas.